All right, so the only trick when you have a quota as opposed to a tariff is rather than using prices to get quantity, you use quantities to get prices. So suppose this is your demand curve, this is your supply curve, and the quota is limiting imports to 30. So 30 is the level of imports. That's the gap between quantity demanded and quantity supplied. We've got formulas for these. Quantity demanded is 100 minus 2P. Quantity supplied is P minus 20. Notice these brackets here. These brackets are critical because otherwise you're going to make a sign error right there. Get rid of the brackets. 100 minus 2P minus P plus 20. Again, you want to keep track of that negative and a negative mix of positive. That's where most math, most math errors come from. So let's collect some terms. 120 minus 3P is still equal to that quota of 30. Collect some terms, take the 3P over to the other side, take that 30 over to the other side. 3P is equal to 90. So that tells us the price under the quota is going to be 90 divided by 3, or 30. What's quantity consumed going to be? Plug that 30 back up into there. 100 minus 2P, well, P is 30. 100 minus 2 times 30, 100 minus 60, or 40. Plug your price up into your supply curve. What do you get? 30 minus 20 is equal to 10. That's quantity demanded, quantity supplied. And indeed, the gap is equal to the quota. Good way to double check your math. Now you have your quantity, now you have your quantity supplied, now you have your price in this country, you're given the terms of trade price overseas, so now you can go through, calculate all your areas, get whether the country is better off, worse off, consumer surplus, etc.